Welcome to this week's video where we go from Sunderland to Eyemouth with a little stop off overnight in Amble in between. That's what I forgot last week. Well, um, while we're in Eyemouth, we meet the seals in the harbour and that inspires me to do a bit of a painting. But there were some bits to Eyemouth hidden near the, har near the harbour but near the coast that I went and explored as well. It was a, a lovely place with lots of wildlife and wildflowers and it, it was beautiful, beautiful. First part of the trip was from Sunderland to Amble. Sunderland to Amble. And then we went from Amble to Eyemouth. We motored out of Sunderland on a beautiful day and passed one of the extensive wind farms that can be found on the east coast before ducking into Amble. We spent one night here, less than 24 hours. Speaking of ducks, Hello. these eiders came swimming around us as soon as we went on deck. They were obviously expecting food. After an early start, we set off for Imel. The wind was perfect to put the sails up, so as soon as we had chance, up they went. We had the wind and the tide with us past the Farn Islands and we flew past at nine knots where we saw our first puffins. There were a few isolated showers about and we managed to miss them all. We arrived in Eyemouth surfing a swell through the harbour entrance and moored up on the visit to Pontoon right in the centre of town. It was an amazing place, full of boats of all different types, places to eat, a beach and walks along the coast. What you can see behind me is what we had to sail into last night to get into the harbour. Sorry about the hair, uh, just had a shower, it's first thing in the morning. This is what I had to sail through. Obviously it was all under power. I didn't try doing it with the sails up, but the three of us managed to get the boat through those rocks, through that gap and behind all this. It's a lot flatter this morning and you could look out there and say, well, why didn't you set off to the Arbroath today? But this is deceiving. We're gonna have to wait till later on see what happens with the weather. When we're setting off on a 45, 50 mile trip, we have to make sure we've got seven or eight, nine hours of good weather, not just a couple. So if it looks nice now, it can be quite deceiving and we can get caught out. Pretty much what happened last Saturday, although last Saturday, all the predictions said we were gonna make it in, but that weather came in far too quickly. So we're not going to chance it again. We're going to wait till Sunday at least before we hop over that direction to get to um, Arbroath. So, a couple of days in Eyemouth. Might do some painting again. 
Behind the marina buildings along the coastal walk, there are lots of wildflowers. I think some of them have been planted, but it still looks lovely. The rock formations are out of this world. It's the textures and the scale of the rocks that are just so intriguing. That is something from another world, isn't it? Yeah, you're not supposed to. At this point, we noticed a fishing boat taking a shortcut through the rocks. Rather him than me. It's lovely just spending some time in nature. On the way back to the boat, I came across a man who'd taken his bird for a morning walk. And on the dock, the textures and patterns of the fishing equipment caught my attention. The stars of Eyemouth Harbour are the well-fed seals. They float around waiting for the next meal, living a great life. They have their own small floating pontoon where they can wait to be fed. This gave me an idea. So the seals in Eyemouth really did inspire me to think about doing a drawing or a painting of them. I love the way they just lounge around, just waiting to be fed. They're almost domesticated and because of the faces they look like Labradors, they look just like puppies, just lounging around the living room waiting for feeding time. Obviously they're not, they're wild animals. It's just that whole um, decadent lifestyle they seem to have that I wanted to do something with. Uh, the other thing is eye mouth is very much a, f a fishing community. There's fishing boats going in and out all the time. Uh, there's nets on the side and that's what brings the seals to them is the, is the supply of fish. So I wanted to do something with a nod to how easy the seals have their life with an acknowledgement to why with the fishing in the background, especially when the f fishing isn't what it used to be as far as an industry. It's changed quite a lot. It's not as um, it, it's not as uh, intense in these small towns around the British coast. And even the fact that these seals now are a tourist attraction, you can actually feed the seals. You can go and get fish to feed the seals, buy it off. Uh, the shop. The, the, the tourist attraction from the fishing, from the seals taking advantage of that, I just wanted to try and bring it all together in one painting. So my, my idea is a lounging seal with uh, flowers that are captured from the eye mouth um, back, uh, 
behind the bay with boys in the background and then a, a, a picture frame of the fishing nets and then a, a, like a piece of cloth draped over the seal uh, with a necklace on so they, they look as though they're sort of like one of the old impressionist ladies so that's what I'm going to have a go at whether I can <laughs> get it right I've no idea let's have a go So I've blocked in the colours for the painting so far. Uh, as you can see, we've got the seal at the front with the fabric draped over it. And the, I don't know whether it's a window or a painting in the background. Um, the, I, I'm going to be using magenta and cobalt blue in this one on top of the six colours that I usually use just to get that orange to pop and also some of the fishing net colours as well that I really want to make work but that's where I'm at at the moment I just need to let that dry and then start working back into it so there we go um the, I've got halfway through the painting I'll show you the finished painting in a minute I didn't actually film myself painting the rest of the painting I got so engrossed in it that I just run away with myself so here's the finished painting and i'll see you next week where we go from eye mouth to our broth very quickly and then on to peter head so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next week bye